So this is May 5th factory farm in the workshop. We're doing a few things, setting up the power infrastructure. So we've got a, a three-phase converter here. Now we're going to have this pretty amazing youth here explain to you boys how to do this. <laughs> so. Not to the women as well? Okay. Only to the boys? Okay. Okay, um, anyways, first off, you look at the instruction manual and read it. That's what I did. And so it says... Blah, 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 you have to... Let's back up a little bit, actually. So how are we doing this? So we're, what we're taking is basically taking a generator, whether that's the inverter power or a generator. Right now we're going to use, for testing, we're going to use a 3.5 kilowatt just off-grid generator. We're going to connect it to this with one phase, and then we're going to convert power into three phase. Yes. Yep, so that's what we're doing right now. Yeah, so basically you connect the, uh, the one phase inputs to... Here and here, L1 and L2. So this is the control box here. All this is here. in this diagram. And it took, I had to read it like five times before I understood what was going on. But mm -hmm. um, So that's, let's look at this controller box here. That's how it looks from the outside. So that's the three-phase converter from American Rotary. So that's, we're going to, basically, that's going to be the switch there. I guess we're going to have to wire up, you know, put that switch in there. So, so we take input power. One, input power goes here, L1 mm -hmm. and L2. And then yep. output, the three-phase output goes T1. You're on me, not on that thing. So output goes T1, T2, T3. Mm -hmm. So that's the output power. And okay. if, I, I don't think it really matters. It's not talking about um, being careful which output or which input goes where. Because so you're not. just assuming three equivalent legs. Yeah. I guess, what is that, like the delta configuration? Have you read about that? Or, no. Because there's different configurations how you can wire a three-phase. Okay. And what are these two here? Um, basically, the, well, these three. So A, B, C, mm -hmm. that's where this connects. A, B, and C is where the, the input from the three-phase converter? three-phase converter. Okay. So and the input, so the input from the line, from whatever the generator is here? No, it's L1, L2. That's single phase. And then T1, T2, T3 is the, uh, is the three-phase output. Uh-huh. And uh, A, B, C is what comes in from the, from the, the generator. converter. From the, from the converter, you mean? It calls it an idler or a generator. Oh, they call it a generator or idler. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so there's like seven wires there. There's nine. Nine? Um, so, why are there so many? I don't know. I'm just going to follow the instructions. Mm-hmm. So it says bolt either leads four, five, six together. Uh, these okay. are all labeled with numbers. Okay. So you know which one goes where. You don't even have to look at the color. It's friendly for the colorblind people out there. Okay. <laughs> so it says bolt these three together. I gotta put some um, insulation on there so no one gets shocked or anything. And then the rest of these, the six more, it basically says where they go. It says one and seven go to A, two and eight go to B, mm -hmm. three and nine go to C. Oh, excellent. And then it says insulate all these separately. So we got to get some shrink wrap or some tape or something to insulate it. But then... Um, oh, excellent. And then we're going to basically then hardwire outlets into the... So the three-phase outlet, which is... Uh, what do we say? That's the T1, T2, and T3 for the three-phase. So basically the outlets are going to be here, there, and there. And that's just clamp-down terminals. Okay, so let's try that.